you guys, how's it going? It's your boy ZH Comic Art, and today I'm going to be showing you the three best drawing exercises for improving your art and drawing really dynamic, cool looking lines. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, welcome to the family. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications because I post videos every single day. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the very first line is going to be the S curve. Let me show you a simple S curve right here. This is the very basic line. Let's see if you guys can see that. There are many different variations. You can do an S curve like that. Like that. You can have longer S curves. And this is something you gotta practice over and over again because it happens all the time. If you look at a female figure, for example, they have a lot of S curves. They have that for the hips. They have something like this for the arms. They have that. I, I know it's kind of bad, but you guys kind of get what I mean. The shoulder, it'll look kind of like that. So the S curves appear everywhere. So <laughs> it's something you really have to focus on drawing over and over again. So just fill an entire sketchbook with this. Soon you'll get comfortable with this line and it'll just come naturally to you. If you can draw a lot of figures just with this line, trust me, your drawing will get so much better. So if we have uh, figure over here We can have curves over here curves over there and then just draw curves everywhere So the first drawing exercise is going to be the S shape line or the S curve now moving on to the second one The second one this is a drawing exercise. I love to do it's pretty simple It's a straight line except for you can make it really dynamic. So you kind of jerk your hand over real quick. It's something I love to do. I do it in so many of my drawings. So I'll draw a line over here, kind of curved, and then I'll just jag it over. So this creates a really dynamic line. I know it's a straight line, but if you just try to draw a straight line like that, it really has like no movement to it. Whereas if you go like this, just like a jagged line, sometimes you get random shapes, but it really makes your drawing look a lot more dynamic, even though you're not doing much to the paper. So just fill a whole sketchbook with these jagged lines and soon you will gain a lot of control in your hand and you'll be able to draw stuff like this. Usually I go up like this or down this way. When I go this side where I go from left to right, it really Hey, what's up? <laughs> it, it, it really doesn't feel good for my hand, so it's just whatever works for you. You can just go straight up, jag your pencil across like that. I usually place my pencil down and then I quickly just bring it over to the edge. So that can create a really dynamic line and it's just whatever works for you. You can go up, down, sideways, just whatever makes the most dynamic line. So that's the second drawing exercise. You can fill a whole sketchbook like this as well to make your drawings better, look more dynamic, and just to get the muscle memory in. So that's the jagged line exercise. And the third best exercise for drawing, it's by far my favorite. It's the hook slash um, opposing curve line. So as you know before, this was the really flowy curve that's really good for females. The jagged curve, however, is something I like to do. I'll show you guys slowly. It's a curve like this and then you quickly jag it to the edge. So it's a combination of the two. You can jag your edge like this, like that. It kind of just takes practice, but then it creates a really dynamic line. For example, if you have an arm over here, you have your shoulder muscle, and then you can kind of jag the tricep like that. And I'm going to show you guys a real quick tip how to make these lines work together because it creates kind of a rhythm and a flow. So if you have a jagged line going this way, make another line going that way, it really creates like some kind of rhythm or movement as you can see over there. So you can even do something like this, where you have that, or like that. So you can vary the curvature of these curves and see what you come up with. And then you can also do an S curve with like a jag, just pretty much the same thing. So just keep practicing these jagged lines. I always do opposing curves. So it curves one way and then it quickly curves the other or it curves one way and it goes into a straight line. So a lot of times 
I'll just fill a whole sketchbook with this. It, it really makes the figures more dynamic. Let me show you on an arm real quick. I will use all the different curves we talked about. So here is an arm. Okay, so that's just a basic arm. Let's put in some anatomy here. We've got the triceps, we've got um, the brachialis muscle, we've got the biceps, we've got the shoulder. Okay, so now I'll show you how to use each and every curve. So remember how I talked about before where you have opposing curves where you have one curve jagged like this and one curve jagging like that so it goes in the opposite direction. This is a perfect example of where you can use it. You can jag the edge of the triceps like this and the biceps go up like that. So it's a little bit more stylized but it gives you a really dynamic look. You can jag the edge over here and over here we're gonna practice our straight line. Jag the edge over here as you can see and then Remember this one over here for the forearm, it's just going to be just like that. So you can see one opposing curve, another opposing curve. And these lines over here are just the straight jagged lines. And it really makes it look a lot more dynamic. I'll show you right here again. There's going to be a jagged line like that. And then for the shoulders, however, you're not going to want it so jagged. So you're going to use the S curve. So you see the S curve we talked about earlier? It goes in between over here and then S curve on top again. So you've got those muscles right there. So as you can see, it creates a much better flow when you have all these dynamic lines. So that's kind of a basic arm right there. It's not shaded or anything, but I think you guys get the point. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This video shout out goes to Bradley Harris. If you want to win a shout out to you, all you have to do is join the notification squad by subscribing, turning on post notifications, and letting me know down in the comments when you're done. Anyways, make sure you come back tomorrow for more because I'm posting every single day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.